Hi everyone, my name is Paragpal and welcome back in a new video of G plus 10 story building planning and analysis using the Microsoft project. So guys, in this particular video, I am going to provide you an information about how to assign a baseline to the task and with respect to that, how we can identify the baseline cost and how to manage this baseline cost with the actual cost. Remember one thing, as per the last video, what I taught you, how to uh, prepare the cost with respect to the resources and how to identify the actual cost. But remember, this particular cost will provide you the actual cost but with addition of the remaining cost which we not incurred in the actual cost. Okay, so this is one of the very important functionality of this cost function. But this function will never reflect you the exact amount. For that, we need to assign the baseline and whatever the cost we prepared at the earlier stage for the resources that we need to manage okay so first of all let's go to the baseline so baseline in msp like in ms project you can assign only 11 baselines okay in pramavera there is a unlimited baselines you can generate but in msp there is a only limited baselines so first of all to assign a baseline you need to select the particular task like this okay then go to the project and go to the set baseline and after that click here to set baseline okay when you click on a set baseline it asks you like which number particular baseline you want to incur so i want to incur the baseline number zero okay and it asks you whether do you want for an entire project or selected task so i'm selecting this for an entire project okay so i'm clicking on okay when you click on okay you can see this particular line bar is reflecting if you're not reflecting this particular line bar what you have to do just go to the format and click here and select this baseline if you not select this baseline so this particular value will never reflect okay now after that when you click on this okay just click here on the cost click on right click and insert column when you click on insert column you need to type the baseline cost okay the baseline cost so you can see whatever the cost you incurred okay in this particular column function the cost function it will reflect over here so first of all what you have to do just make it zero okay and you can see okay same cost will be reflect here now just wait a minute we need to update the project okay so this is what earlier what we already took whatever cost so that's why i'm telling you the whatever the cost you have to incur at the start you need to consider over here okay so just keep it add as it is now so right click just remove this hide this column okay and we are preparing as a 15000 whatever the cost at the start okay right so you can see this particular cost is a basic cost for us now this cost is not going to change okay now whatever cost you are going to incur for your activity you need to keep here so just provide 15000 we incurred here we are incurred like 20000 okay here we incurred uh, 55000 here we incurred 98000 okay here we incurred we incurred 25000 here okay just consider the maximum one also okay then here we consider 23000 okay right now you can see here we incurred 2 lakhs uh, uh, 40000 okay we incurred 2 lakh 30000 okay 1 lakh 12000 just consider that we incurred this much amount okay 55000 okay like that so you can see with respect to this analysis you get to know this is what overall cost of the project and till date you already reached this multicolor cost so what is your rest column so in next video i will be definitely provide you an information about the how we can how we can do the rest of the calculations of the earned value analysis okay with respect to the standard variances and the cost variances okay now here also i would like to add few things that is the percentage completion so percentage work complete is very important portion if you read to right click and add the percentage complete so it will help you to assign like how much amount of the work you already incurred okay so here we incurred 31 percentage of work of this particular activity and here we incurred 23 percentage of work okay now this work is incurred 11 percentage okay now in coming videos we will look into that like how we can manage how we can move the project okay or how we can calculate the project so if you want to do some more analysis you need to update the project if you click on update the project you can see it will get the reflections now if you want a status as per the last date so what you have to do just click over here okay 
and click on a drop down i'm considering 23rd click on ok and i'm going to update the project so you can see my percentage is changed okay it means what if you know msp very well so you can identify the percentage duration and if you are monitoring your project properly as you planned so you will definitely get a proper percentage progress completion okay as per your planning okay now here also one more thing that you can incur that is the actual actual percentage okay the actual duration actual duration you can also consider over here okay so actual percentage that we can insert by manually okay so in coming video i'll definitely provide you some information about this okay so have a nice day guys bye bye